What's going on guys, Jace Park here. I'm a feature filmmaker with Hyper 2 Productions and I wanted to discuss really quick about the Canon C80, right? So we all know the Canon C80 is coming out. 6K full frame, like, it's crazy. So I always say when it comes to these cameras that they're way overpriced. For what you get, they're way overpriced. There's no way that the technology that excuse me, is in the camera is comparable to the amount of material that it takes to even build a car, right? But some of these cameras are built crazy. But the more that I'm looking at this EOS C80 from Canon, the more I'm like, ooh, I'm getting really excited. I shoot my films on the Red Komodo and the Blackmagic 6K full frame. The Red Komodo X and Komodo, they just reduced their prices by about like three grand on the Komodo X. I think you can get it for like six, seven thousand now compared to ten. So I think that that forced Canon to release the C80. So let's just kind of go through these specs really quick. And, and I'm going to tell you my thoughts as an indie filmmaker, right? What this means, the price point associated with this, and why someone like myself will more than likely probably pick up this camera, right? I, I bypassed the C70. I never got it. I just went black magic because I like black magic. But what this offers to me at this price point is an absolute game changer that Sony, Red, black magic, it's, it's almost uncomparable, right? If you were to get any camera within this price point, I don't see how you can not go for the Canon C80. Mind you, again, I've shot everything on the Blackmagic 6K, Pocket 6K, the 6K full frame, and the Red Komodo. So let's just start from the top. 6K full frame back illuminated stack CMOS sensor. Now, the fact that it's full frame compared to S35, people are like, oh, it's not that big of a deal. Let me tell you. If you're talking about a game of inches, that full frame looks way milkier and way creamier and better than that S35 sensor. The fact that it has three base ISOs, right? Absolute game changer. 800 ISO daily, that's kind of like Red Komodo, you just daily, 800, right? 3200, uh, it's, 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 it's some light, you know, it's some light, I'm, I'm in the city. I'm going to shoot 32, 12,800. And you're talking about clean imagery. I'm assuming it's clean imagery because why else would you promote it, right? At 12,800, I shot uh, some, night, some night scenes in my film, Rhino King, that's in post-production now. We shot on the FX3 for some of the night scenes. Everything else was shot on the Cinema Camera 6K, but we shot that at 12,000 ISO, and it came out clean. So if that 12,000 is anything like the FX3 12,000 clean, I don't care if it's post-processing or whatever, that's crazy. And to maximize the full dynamic range of the camera, 16 stops, 16 stops, like 16 stops is at this price point, on any price point is actually incredible. It's, this is crazy. So dual pixel autofocus, which is great. I've seen some videos of the autofocus. I mean, it follows you, it tracks, it does everything it needs to do. So you don't necessarily need to manual focus unless you have a lot of subjects within that frame. Oversample, 6K down to 4K. So if you're shooting in 4K, you still get it at 6K frame and then it's going down to 4K. Uh, S 12G SDI ports. I don't really care for SDI ports. I actually hate SDI ports. But for those that want to do uh, more professional things and connect more things to it, you have your 12G SDI. It's a little bit bigger than the C70, but that C80 is still kind of like a fat square. It, it still has a nice design. They've upgraded the hinges. So now when you flip out and rotate, it's not as flimsy as the C70. You have Cinema Raw, right? I only shoot raw, but if you're gonna shoot something like this and you're in you know, the house or whatever, or you're just gonna shoot other stuff, you have a bunch of different codecs, a, a, uh, XF, HEV. I would probably only shoot raw 4K 120. Which is, uh, it, after shooting everything with at, at 6K, I will say that 4K, 120, 60, whatever, that's going to crop into the S35 sensor or it's going to look like it's an S35. 
you don't need to go beyond 6K. I mean, everything that's viewed within the world, for the most part on Amazon, Tubi, especially if you're making movies, they're viewed at 720, 1080p. Anyways, unless you're getting a specialty deal with like Netflix or you're a Tubi original, then I'm sure that those are you know shown to the world at, in 4K. This is coming out uh, in November of 2024 at $5,000, $5,499. At that price point, great dual auto focus, three base ISOs, low light, regular light, whatever, 16 stops of dynamic range, their new NPFN or whatever it's called battery is uh, supposed to hold more juice. 4K 120, the rolling shutter isn't that bad at all. And for the most part, the average consumer doesn't care about rolling shutter. Only filmmakers and tech geeks care about rolling shutter or global shutter. People don't care, right? I've never once heard someone outside of this industry talk about rolling shutter. It just doesn't happen. So if we look at the pictures here on this C80, oh, well, I do not want to download it. So whatever. At $5,500. You could choose, okay, I can get an FX6, which the C80 does everything the FX6 does, but it shoots raw and it has those Canon colors. And you can argue all you want, but those Canon colors are pretty. Three base ISO. Like, at this price point, you're choosing between this. This is undercutting the Komodo X too, right? Let's just look at that real quick. The Komodo X, what's that price on that? Because uh, this is above the Komodo. This is 100% above the Komodo. So the Komodo X right now is selling at 6,000. This is undercutting the Komodo X, right? And the Komodo X has a Super 35 sensor. Granted, it does have global shutter. Shoots at 6K80 compared to the 6K30 on the C80. They both have the RF lenses, SDI ports. Okay, so after looking at the Komodo X, I've owned the red Komodo, but after looking at the Komodo X, for the price points, I would choose this, at, not I would, I'm going to choose the C80 over the red Komodo. I mean, if you talk about indie filmmaking, you talk about Game Changer, you talk about taking it to the next level, for that price, you can't get better. And I mean, it is what it is.